we are ready for trusses. All right. As soon as I get my tool belt on. I'm trusted. Let me get one on first. Uh, eight footer to tip it. I'm good. Yep. How's that look, Chad? I could take a eighth, maybe to a quarter. This blocking we put about five or six feet up so that when we put the first course of plywood on, it's not in the way. <clears throat> we'll set all these trusses and nail them off on this side with the spacer brackets and not nail the other side until we've gotten the wall absolutely uh, straight. I didn't finish the sentence. Spacer bracket. Uh, hit the hand, hit the hand. It did. <laughs> Surprised me. Do 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 do. La da 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 da. I caught my uh, mic with the claw of my hammer. Pulled it off, threw it down to the ground. Okay. Oh, I need that bracket, don't I? Oh, we're all out of, all out of sync now. Okay. The last two trusses there's not enough room to tip them straight up. So we tilt these two up against this one, just tack it off, and we slide them across. Okay. Would you say break? break? Well, it was great. I've never been on live TV before. <laughs> Almost scared me half to death. I always line up this one first, then we use that to, it squares everything up. We've snapped, snapped the line all the way across. Down just a pinch, uh, up a pinch. <laughs> up a half. Don't <laughs>
And now for rakes. This will define the uh, the overhang. I don't get to do this very often. Usually you and Chad do this. Hey, point of interest. We use about $200 worth of nails on every job. Freeze board. That is a lot of work, a lot of pressure. We'll um, drill all of these out for uh, soffit vents. It's a kind of a different way that we're doing it this time. Looks pretty sharp though. Uh, we'll stick those in after we've painted. Also, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, that really helps me a lot. Um, also, if you can hit the like button, apparently that does something to urge uh, YouTube to show more of my videos, and I'd appreciate that. Thanks. Garage door trim. So Chad is the painter dude. He's going to do that. Uh, I'll go over and continue to um, drill the holes in the soffits, and Joe's going to assist. <laughs>
time to do some roofing. It's one of my favorite parts, actually. I am ready, Joseph. Would I be the lug E? If you're the lug er? The receiver of the lug. <laughs> receiver of the lug. How is it along the bottom? Okay. Yep. Okay. A little uh, pointy conversation. I put screws every four feet. Uh, most people put them every two feet or 16 inches or even, it's just uh, a lot. Uh, every screw you put in hinders snow from coming off. Uh, I've done 500 roofs this way and never lost a sheet. Um, and we've gotten some high winds. Er, high winds around here is like 40 miles an hour. So it's, uh, you know, we don't get that very often. But that's what I do because I, I really like the snow to be able to come off. Garage doors is the last piece of the puzzle. We have the tracks up, or Chad has them up on his side. Uh, so now the doors go up. Here it is. We're all finished. 24 by 24 ranch style garage. Came out really well. The uh, shiplap siding. We haven't done one of those for uh, oh, probably 10 years. So it's kind of fun to do something a little different. Came out really well. Two 9 by 7 doors. Uh, 8 foot ceiling. 8 foot 1 and a half. Metal roofing. We cut in the soffit vents underneath. Um, we used round vents this time. We'll go take a look inside. Don't really have a choice. We're going to look inside. <laughs> this is the inside. The doors, uh, they're unlocked. They go up real well. Uh, let's see. Let's look up at the trusses for a second. Where's a good spot? So you can see we've put a, a, a truss spacer all the way down the center. So that keeps the trusses equal down through there. And we put an angle brace on each corner. By doing that, it takes all the bounce out of both the front and the back wall so that you don't get any get any movement. It keeps everything equal, keeps the walls nice and straight. There you have it. Please subscribe. Uh, and if, if you liked the video, would you hit the like button? Thank you.